Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to talk about the benefits and drawbacks of high and dry marina storage. Let's get into it. Okay, so you just bought a new boat or you're about to buy a new boat. And in the long list of logistics, the first thing you need to tackle is storage. I worked at a high and dry marina for a little while and based off of my experience there, paired with some customer feedback, I've narrowed this down to three pros and three cons to help you make the decision of whether or not you should keep your boat in a high and dry marina. Pro number one, it is so convenient. You can send a text or an email or call the front desk and in 15 minutes to an hour, your boat is in the water ready to go. You can also request that your boat be fueled before you get there, that you have 30 pounds of ice in the fish box and you just walk down to the dock, your boat is sitting there tied up and off you go. It's also super convenient because the building is crawling with experience and expertise. You've got guys there on the property that can help you out and that's a huge, huge pro. The other thing that makes high and dry is so convenient is that holidays are a little bit more manageable. Public boat ramps on Labor Day weekend or Memorial Day weekend are terrible. So not having to deal with that kind of stuff on holiday weekends is super nice. Pro number two, it is so easy. When you get done with a full day on the water and you're tired and you're just ready to go home and you don't want to have to deal with everything, you don't. You just grab all your stuff and go home. And you don't have to deal with trailering it, you don't have to deal with washing it, you don't have to deal with rinsing the motors. It's all done for you. So if you don't have to deal with all the extra chores that go along with using your boat, then you'll use your boat more. Also, some of these high and dries have amenities on property. This could be anything from locker rooms with showers to pools, club bars, and pro shops that sell food and drinks, towels, and more. Okay, final pro, number three, your boat is safe. That's the whole point. You're keeping your boat inside, away from the elements. That means no more sun bleached seats, no more faded holes, and no more scraping barnacles off the bottom of your boat. The other thing to note is that typically these places have security on the premises, whether that's digital security with cameras and security systems or physical security with actual guards on property protecting the building, uh, the amenities of the building and all the stuff inside. Your boat is safe. Okay, we've talked about the pros, now let's talk about the cons. Number one, it's expensive. Some of these high and dry marinas are charging anywhere between $15 to $40 per foot per month for storage. I called a couple different marinas around me and some of them are even charging if the boat has a hard top compared to a soft top. It's an extra 50 bucks a month. Now check with your marina and see what their rates are, but it is undoubtedly expensive. Fuel can be more expensive because it's right there and it's so convenient. Ice is typically more expensive because it's right there and convenient. Anything like food and drinks and all that stuff that you might be able to buy at the marina shop is probably going to be more expensive than what you could buy at your local Walmart. The other thing to note, if you do own a trailer, a lot of these marinas will charge you additional for trailer storage. Some of them have a yard, some of them have a gravel lot that they will leave your trailer in, but even that, uh, that storage space there, they're gonna charge you per month to keep your trailer there. Con number two, availability and capability. Some of these marinas are not capable of having large boats, catamarans, pontoons, and they can be really specific about what they do and don't allow. This is because there's very limited space, if any at all, for the forklifts to safely get underneath the boat to pick it up out of the water. If they do accept catamarans or tritunes, these facilities will typically ask the customer to provide their own cradle. And these cradles are essentially trailers without wheels, but it makes it safe for the boat to be picked up with forks. Finally, the third con, is time and access restraints. 
A lot of these marinas have normal business hours between six in the morning and six at night. That means if you have a last minute decision to go watch the summer sunset at 7.30 and your boat's stuck in the high and dry, you might wanna go set it up for tomorrow. The other thing is if you decide that you wanna go on a very early fishing trip in the morning, you'll have to request that the night before. If you wanna be on the water before sunrise, make sure that they have your boat in the water sitting there overnight so that when you show up at 4.30, that the boat is sitting there waiting for you. Finally, it's kind of hard to access your boat for small maintenance if it's on the second or third rack. If you need to switch out a speaker or do some small wiring or things like that, you have to have that scheduled or call ahead of time. They can put your boat on a rack for you to do your maintenance. The other thing to know is that you probably won't have power access when your boat is on the rack. That means if you have a trickle charger for your trolling motor or your house batteries, they're not gonna be able to have access to power and charge while the boat is in the rack. So if you are out of town a lot, or if you haven't seen your boat in a while, make sure before you go out on your next trip that that boat comes down off the rack, that you go plug it in or ask them to go plug it in and let those batteries charge up before your day on the water. So there you have it. Those are my pros and cons of high and dry marina storage. Be sure to leave a like on the video, it helps the channel out a lot, and leave a comment down below if you feel like I missed anything. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.